I am Dr. Oibo Saksing, Associate Professor, Department of Chemistry Modern College. Right now, I am the head of the department. And my co author is Dr. A. Bimola Devi. He is also Associate Professor working in the same department. The title of my article is Comparative Study of the anti Lithiatic Activity of Plant Hydroalcoholic Extract of Arzimon Mexicana, Sista Javana DC, and Garcinia Pendicular. Introduction. The kidney stones are known as being painful health problems. It is a serious chemical condition which may lead to major causes for acute and chronic renal failure. The kidney stone formation is influenced by the dietary habits. A diet low in calcium is more influencing in stone formation than a diet high in calcium. Also, ingestion of diet containing high amount of oxalate enhances stone formation than a diet containing more calcium. That is, Oxalate is very strong promoter of calcium oxalate precipitation, about 15 times stronger than calcium. Because of the side effects of the allopatric drugs for the treatment of kidney stone, patients and their relatives take herbal medicine as a prospective treatment for this condition. That is, according to herbal scientists, report herbal medicine have this side effects. Patients between 31 to 51 years suffer the most. In this paper, we are mainly focused on the treatment of plant extracts of Arzimon Mexicana, Sister Javana DC, and Garcinia Pendiculata with the kidney stone collected in vitro condition. Further, the present research of kidney stone treatment will be useful for general public and also for the conservation of helpful medicinal plants in home garden and the public places like Eco Park, Children Park, etc. The kidney is are the one of the most vital parts of human body. Malfunction of the kidney due to the blockage of urine by stone causes unbearable pain. It is a serious health problem for an old. Nowadays, many people seek herbal medicine instead of allopathic drugs. The traditional healers, that is herbalists, express that the lower abdominal pain due to the loss of urinary tract by the stone and the symptoms start with insensation vomiting. According to the scientists and researchers, there are four kinds of kidney stones, that is calcium, cysteine, strobite, and uric acid. Calcium is the most common form of kidney stone, while cysteine is the least common variety. I have chosen three plants, and this is Arjunum Mexicana, This local name is Comtopi. I took its leaf for my research process. And this is Sisa Zabana DC, This local name is Kongelava. I took its leaf for our research process. This is Garcinia Penduculata, its local name is Haibung. I took its fruit for my research purpose. Methods Collection of the healthy plants, leaves, and fruits of Arjumon Mexicana, Sister Javana DC, and Garcinia Penduculata were done during 2014. The herbarium of the plant is already reported. The parts of the plant were washed, dry, soft, and powder. In the meantime, kidney stones were collected from the Professor S. Rajin Rosing. Department of Orthopedics, Regional Institute of Medical Sciences, Bangkok, Manipur, India. The dry powder, lips, and the fruits of the tree plants were swapped in 50% aqueous methanol in a chocolate extractor under hot conditions. The extracts were distilled under reduced pressure using rotary vacuum evaporator to produce fruit mass, which further spread in petri plates and kept in desiccator. Collection of urine. Urine is required. This is a solvent to mimic the natural solvent system. It was collected from a healthy male around 30 years who does not have any stone cases in a sterilized container and camper was added as preservative. The freshly collected urine was always used in the experiment. And this is the experimental physics. Inhibition experiments were performed according to T V R K Rao et al. 0.01 mole is of calcium chloride and sodium phosphate were taken for calcium phosphate Crystallization. Similarly, 0.01 mole is of calcium chloride and sodium oxalate were taken for calcium oxalate crystallization. 50 ml of plant extract, 0.01% of fluid in water or urine was taken as inhibitor solution. Simultaneous playing experiment with water or urine in place of inhibitor solution were also carried for evaluating the inhibition efficiency of inhibitors compared to water or urine. All the experiments were conducted at room temperature, that is 25 degrees Celsius. At the end, the content of the beaker was digested on a hot water bath for 10 minutes, cool at room temperature and centrifuge in a small volume. The total centrifugate were collected. Calcium content of the centrifugate left after stone had formed was determined by complexometric titration using 
standard ETTA solution 0.01 molar, ERO complete T1% used as indicator, and ammonia ammonium chloride used as buffer which maintained around pH 10. While calculating the calcium content of the centrifugate, a tighter value of ETTA versus corresponding total inhibition solution was reduced from the total tighter value equivalent to centrifugate. Inhibition experiment for calcium phosphate in plant. Inhibition experiment for calcium monoxide in plant. Inhibition experiment for argumon Mexican. Inhibition experiment for Tisha Javanat. Inhibition experiment for Gashinia. Inhibition efficiency was calculated by using the following equation. Inhibition efficiency, that is, percentage inhibition is given by calcium in centrifugate divided by total calcium in the experiment. Thus, Percentage increase of inhibition efficiency relative to blank is given by increase in percentage inhibition over blank divided by percentage inhibition by blank. Where the total calcium in the experiment equals the calcium content of PTML of 0.01 molar calcium chloride solution, which was determined separately. Effect on calcium phosphate formation in aqueous medium of the tree plant. Effect on calcium phosphate formation in inner medium of the tree plant. Effect on calcium phosphate in water in inner medium. Effect on calcium monoxalate formation in water and inner medium. Effect on calcium monoxalate formation in water and urine. Effect on calcium monoxalate formation in aqueous medium of the tree plant. Effect on calcium monoxalate formation in inner medium. Yeah, discussion. In the inhibition experiment, the inhibition in the presence of inhibitors was greater than blank aqueous and the blank urine showing the potential effectiveness of the plant extract in calcium phosphate and the calcium monoxalate formation. The inhibitory effect in the mineralization of stone forming chemical in blank urine were more than aqueous medium which showed that some natural inhibitors may be present in urine. Out of the three plants, Garcinia pendiculata, that is Typhoon, has the highest inhibitory effect in the mineralization of calcium phosphate in aqueous medium, while Argimon mexicana, that is Comtopy, has the highest inhibitory effect in the mineralization of calcium phosphate in inner medium. Garcinia pendiculata has the highest effect in the mineralization of calcium monoxalate both in aqueous and the inner medium. We took Sisa Zabana DC, that is common in lava, which was frequently used by our traditional healers or herbalists, was treated with kidney stone collected in aqueous and urinary media. The experimental results are shown in table 14. From the experimental results, it is clear that the plant has more inhibitory power in urinary medium than that in aqueous medium. It can easily dissolve the kidney stones. This is shown in figure 4 and 5. Yeah. This is the kidney stone before treatment with the plant extract. This is Sister Javana DC. And this is the kidney stone after treatment with the plant extract. This is Sister Javana DC. We have found that a lot of changes in the stone. It shows that some part of the stone has already digested with the plant extract. And this is the experimental ending. Yeah, conclusion. This plant has potential to control stone formation which may be either calcium phosphate or calcium monoxalate. Moreover, this plant has more effective in controlling calcium oxalate stone formation than of calcium phosphate stone formation. If such a plant is fed to the kidney stone patient, it will help a lot. Similarly, we are continuing our investigation with other plants and we will find out which plant has the highest stone dissolving power and which chemical compounds are actually involved in the process. There is possibility of using leaves and fruits of this plant as a therapeutic agent in urolithiasis, indicating a high amount of chemoimmunitary effect. Further investigations are required to determine exact doses and its side effect to the human trial. This is the reference. It is me. It is my.